Uh, every cochlear implant user hears a little differently, experiences it differently. What does a cochlear implant sound like? Hi everyone, welcome back to Life in Between with David. And today I'm really excited to talk about something that has been asked of me many, many times and it actually came up over the last few weeks um, from different comments and conversations that I've had. And that question is, what does a cochlear implant sound like? And that is a question that I haven't really been able to figure out how to express in words or really answer. And so the best answer I can give is that I hear like everybody else. Um, so yeah, I feel like I hear like everyone else. And when I say that, it doesn't mean that I literally hear as well as everyone else, but that the hearing to me sound, feels normal. It feels right. Um, and it's all I've really known. So it's as if you were living in, in one place and you love it and you, that's all you knew and you go to a new place. That's the only time you'll be able to compare if you like it or not. And so, for me, I did have hearing before I lost all my hearing at age six, but I honestly cannot remember what it sound, what things sounded like then. Uh, so, hearing that the cochlear implant to me today feels normal, it sounds right. Um, there are times that things do sound robotic or um, computer generated sometimes, and I'll share you an experience. So when I was 18 years old, I was having some remapping done on my cochlear implants, which is when you go to an audiologist that specializes in cochlear implants, they hook you up to a computer and they reprogram your cochlear implant uh, by setting frequency levels. Um, they check everything and make sure everything's functioning well and also um, adjust your volumes and uh, make sure everything is comfortable. And so this session is typically three to four hours and they go into everything, as I mentioned before. And I walked into that appointment thinking that nothing was really going to change because I felt like everything was just functioning great. I was hearing perfectly fine. Um, I felt like I was doing really well. And my audiologist uh, took such good care of me for many years and she said, you know, I want to try something different and we're going to do some reprogramming. It may sound weird at first, but I'm, I think you will find it beneficial. And I'm always a little hesitant when it comes to trying something new with my ears. Like I'm very, very picky about how I hear and I even the slightest change will always kind of get me kind of thrown off a little bit. Uh, so we went through this whole change. Uh, this session three hours, three to four hours, and I, over my lifetime, I've learned to make those long hours a game to keep myself awake and to be able to fully participate to get the best experience. And so after we were all said and done and they uploaded the new program and I was heading out the door, I remember things just sounding really weird. I was walking through the hall and the way things were bouncing off walls, the echoes, everything just kind of felt off to me. And so I remember getting into the car and thinking, there is no way that I'm gonna love this new program. I just thought, there's no way. And I always have to remember the words that my audiologist, doctors, parents, they always reminded me and said, give yourself three to four days to adjust to the new program because it does take time for me to accept a new program to, it kind of sounds like I'm a computer, <laughs> to insert a program and download it and everything. After about three, I think it was like the fourth day, I remember waking up and realized, wow, everything sounds normal, feels right. I don't think I can go back, or I think I'm good with it, I'll just move forward. And just kind of went on normally, and 
two or three weeks after that, I had to go back in for another follow-up, and I asked them, can I try my old program, and just, I want to compare the two and see what it sounds like. And we put the old program on, and remember, this is the one I loved and I thought wouldn't need to be changed, and I turned it on, and immediately I was like, nope, go back to the new program. I did not like the old one. The old one just sounded weird. It sounded like I stepped back in time. And, like, it's kind of weird. It's like, it's like you're watching an old movie from the early 2000s, and then you watch these new high-definition movies on a 4K screen. Um, I felt like that was my comparison at the time. Like, I have this old program, and I adjusted to this new one. There's no way I can go back. And I realized that hearing with the cochlear implant requires time and requires adjusting, and you have to learn to adjust to different hearing styles. Uh, every cochlear implant user hears a little differently, experiences it differently. So again, this is just how I hear, and that's what it sounds like to me. If you have any other questions or like what you see, feel free to subscribe, comment below. If you have a favorite sound or maybe a sound you dislike, please comment below and share that with me. I'm always curious to see what you like or don't like. So again, thank you for watching and welcome to Life in Between with David.